and got our wine from Cooper's Hog. I have four bottles to pick up. So we got four bottles of wine. This is one of them, Roman Sprayed. We've never had this one before. So I'm about to open that and just chill for the night. Um, yeah, I think that's it really. Cause you know, he's about to play the game. So um, I'm gonna just sit here and watch TV and be on my phone maybe. Maybe do some YouTube stuff. Probably not though. But yeah, it was fun. Dinner was really good as always. I got some cheesecake that I need to eat. What else did we get? Oh, we brought home those little egg roll things. But yeah, it was good, you know. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Um, but um. Well, just But anyway, like I was saying, so yeah, dinner was good. Um, I literally almost lost my life when we were walking out. Um, literally, these shoes I have on, they don't really have a lot of grip at the bottom. So when I was leaving, I literally was like on the slip and slide, like I was in a 305, about to fall all over the place. But I got good balance because, you know, I'm just naturally built like that. So I didn't fall, but I was slipping and sliding all over the place looking like a dumbass. But whatever, it's okay. Um, but other than that, it was a great night, great evening. I'm about to drink my wine and just relax. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll see y'all tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Or, I don't know. Maybe I'll see y'all tomorrow. Or Monday or Tuesday. Who knows? Really, I don't know. I'll see y'all whenever. Really. Hey, you guys. Welcome. Welcome back. It's Monday. Um, I am leaving the orthodontist. I just had an appointment. My back and up right now is trash. But um, I just left and I'm excited. So I had to like vlog on my phone real quick for you guys because he said, he said what he said. He said that the next time I come, I should be getting my braces off. Everybody clap. Yay, I'm so excited. I'm so excited because Penny, I've been ready to get these braces off since I got them on. Like, 
literally the day I got my braces, I was like, yeah, this was the worst decision I've ever made in my fucking life. Like, they just hurt. And I mean, that's just the bottom line about it. They just fucking hurt. They don't hurt. It's just a pressure. They're irritating. Eating is irritating. Um, yeah, it's not fun having them. You can go, sir. Go ahead. It's not fun having them at all. Like, and I guess like having braces isn't supposed to be fun. It's supposed to correct your teeth. But I don't know. I guess I just didn't expect them to be like so fucking annoying. So yeah, that's that on that. But yeah, I'm excited. He said the next time I come, I should be getting them off. Um, which was crazy because he never actually, let me rewind. It's crazy because my friend, Johnette, she actually had uh, texted me a few days ago because she has braces as well. And she told me, cause we go to the same orthodontist. She told me that, um, you know, the orthodontist said that like he actually gave her a date is basically what I'm trying to say. Like he gave her an actual date. Like, hey, I'm sorry, let me fix this while I'm at this light. Okay. He gave her an actual date. Like he told her like, hey, on this day, you should be ready to get your braces off. Like, and what's today? What's this? August, August, September. So yeah, I think she said November. Yeah, so he gave her like an actual date and told her like November, you'll be getting your braces off, blah, blah, blah. But like, he never gave me a date. Like the only thing that he kept saying like the past couple months is just like, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost getting there. We're almost like, he never said like, you know, in like two to three months, we'll be ready to get your braces off. So literally everybody will always ask me like, oh, you know, when are you getting your braces off? And I'm like, I don't know because he doesn't say anything. Like he just says, we're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there. Like, okay, we've been almost there for like six months now. We have not arrived yet. Have we not hit our destination or what? So like two months ago, I had an appointment and when I left, they actually had scheduled like my next three appointments and they never do that. Usually they just go like month by month. So they did that and I was like a little like, huh, interesting, you know, but they again didn't say like, these are going to be your final three appointments and then you'll be getting your braces off. They never said that. They just scheduled my appointments and that was it. So yeah, don't be dickheads. Let me over. So yeah i'm just super excited because i didn't know that this time was coming up and i'm kind of like happy that i didn't know that these were like my final three appointments because then i probably would be a little more like antsy about it so now that i know that next month not next month it's probably like a month and a half because i think i scheduled that appointment for it's supposed to be four weeks out and i think i did five because the for the fourth week I didn't, I didn't have time available to go. So, um, yeah, in like five weeks, I should be getting my braces off. I'm so super happy. Um, I still gotta wear my bands, which is okay, because I'm back to just the up and down, the short bands. Last month, they had me in double bands, so I had to wear bands right here, and then bands going to the back, so like triangle. That was the worst, like literally the worst freaking pain. So I'm happy just to be back in single bands. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all that. Um, I don't know what else I'm doing for the rest of the evening. Um, I need to work out. So maybe I'll do that. And that's it really. Yesterday was Sunday. Sunday I didn't do anything. I had like a massive cleaning day yesterday. So we just cleaned the house and really I went through and got rid of like a bunch of products and stuff. Like hair products that were like either nothing in there or expired got rid of that this organization i didn't film for it because like i was just trying to do what i had to do um so yeah it was a pretty chill sunday so yeah work was good and now like i said i'm headed back home probably gonna work out or something so yeah i'll see y'all in a little bit
this day and it's OSU game day. So I have my OH shirt on and my boyfriend has his IO shirt on. You know, twin vibes are matching today. But um, yeah, it's game day. We just got off work. We're cooking because we're gonna make some buffalo chicken dip, some rotel dip, chicken wings, and something else. So yeah, we're gonna go get that ready. Um, on Wednesday, I didn't do anything. Just chilled out at home. Um, and today I just worked. So yeah, gonna have a little in-home party. Not really party, just like a, we're just gonna make some food and watch the game since it's the season opener. So yeah, hope you guys are having a great week. Um, you know, hope work's going well. Hope you guys are happy, flourishing, laughing, all of that good stuff. I hope it's been nothing but good vibes and positive vibes all week for you all. It has been for me for the most part. So, yeah, I'm excited to eat some dip and chicken wings. Mm. Don't really care about watching the game because, you know, I'm not really that into sports. But it's just, you know, cool to, like, have a little something to do. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. So, I'll see y'all. We'll get everything made and ready, and it's time to watch the game. y'all hey first of all welcome back um today is saturday and it's like three o'clock um i actually left the house around when did i leave the house today one i don't know whatever i had an appointment to get my nails done for johnny's birthday um i'll be set up like a little mani petty appointment for us so me Johnny, Abdi, we went and got our pedicure and got our nails done. These are my little nails, just a little regular gel mani, a regular gel manicure. Oh my gosh! Um, and now I'm sitting in the parking lot waiting because we drove over here to go get lunch, which I cannot wait because I'm freaking starving. I haven't eaten all day. Um, but y'all, let me tell you how this nail lady really pissed me off because she literally rushed my whole entire appointment. Um, and after I got done, I realized it was because she had another appointment after me. But my thing is like, I don't care if you have a, an appointment. If you couldn't get me in, then don't get me in. But don't try to rush my services because you have a, a, an appointment after me. That don't got boo to do with me. You still take your motherfucking time, okay? So literally, she just was like rushing through, obviously not taking her time, not like being gentle, nothing my little gel polish literally looks like i could have did it at home like i have been actually doing my nails at home doing gel by myself literally they look like i i could have did better than this actually i could have they could have been better when i did them at home um after my pedicure she literally left my purse and my shoes over there at the pedicure station and I had to ask my friend Abby to like grab my purse but I didn't know my shoes were still over there because you know usually they bring your stuff so literally people are like going into like the area to get pedicures and I had seen somebody because I was like sitting right by it um, but they're like our walls kind of like half walls up over there or whatever but anyway um literally I like the people are going over there and somebody was like oh there's somebody's shoes blah blah and I'm like I know this heifer ain't leave my shoes over there so somebody was walking by like a worker and I was like um are there shoes right there at that chair and then he had told her like basically like get them shoes like duh and she's like oh <laughs> oh and I forgot I left your shoes like yeah bitch I see that you left my purse over there too you left everything like because you're trying to rush and you're not like paying attention to what the hell you're doing like and she was doing that with my nails too like you're rushing not paying attention to what you're doing the hell so that irritated me and I'm like do you want a tip or no because at this point you rushing your way up out of a tip okay like I, I don't feel like your services are being tip worthy so you're rushing your way up out of a tip boo so yeah 
that irritated me just a quick little rant but i'm gonna go in here i don't know where they parked at but i'm about to go in here get something to eat because i'm starving and i have a headache so yeah yeah <laughs> Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna pay for, yeah, cause you got her nails. So, so he's so cute, huh? So kind. He's kind. We love Thank you. You're welcome. Y'all better tell her happy birthday in the comments. Okay. <laughs> so it's a bad bitch birthday. It's a bad bitch holiday. It really is a bad bitch holiday because her birthday is the same day as Beyonce. So it's a bad bitch holiday. Oh, see. All the great people. All the great. Okay. Yeah, y'all. So we're at Rio now. We just got our little drinks. I was renting to them in the car about that lady. And I didn't even tell you that she was, you know how they supposed to like take your stuff? She didn't even take my stuff. That's why I had actually like, can you get my purse? But I didn't know my shoes were still over there until they were like getting the area ready. And I like heard them saying like, like pointing like, with something. yeah, and I'm like. So then somebody like a worker walked by and I was like, um, are there shoes over there? And then he had told her and then she went down and she was like, mm -hmm. I forgot your shoes and I'm like, yeah, bitch, because you doing the most. Like, you rushing too much. Yeah. Stay on your job. You know what <laughs> the hell? But, yeah, we about to eat. I don't know what I'm getting to eat. I know I'm going to get some lobster bisque because I love their lobster bisque. Yeah, but, I get um, I'm really, really hungry. Like, I have a headache. I ain't ate all day. So, I'm going to tear this food up. And this little, and this little drink, okay? Yeah. <laughs> And that's you in the restaurant sharing your birthday. <laughs> uh, here's my food, y'all. I got salmon pasta. It don't look that great to me, but hopefully it's actually really good. It don't look that great to you? I was just going to say that. But hopefully it is, though. Finger Okay. Because it's your birthday. Hmm? You said what? <laughs> Show your other best friend toy shit. I know that's right. Okay. Oh, we didn't look good. Okay. Let's pull out. Let's look Okay. Hold on. Okay. One, two, go. I hope you got it. So you guys, Angelo had a vet appointment today and I dropped him off. Um, not a vet appointment, excuse me. Groomer's appointment. Anyway, he had a groomer appointment and I dropped him off and like an hour into the appointment they ended up calling me pretty much telling me that he has to go to the vet because as they were shaving him down, they cut him. So my baby had to go to the vet and get some surgical glue, antibiotics, all that stuff. Um, and I have to go pick him up in about 20 minutes because now he's back at PetSmart. So I got to go pick him up from there. But I'm just like, my poor little baby. He was already shaking when I was dropping him off. And I'm like, oh, it's okay. Don't be scared. You're going to be fine. And then look what happened. So we got to go pick him up. Oh, it's Sunday, by the way. I don't know if I said that. But yeah, Sunday, last day of the vlog. Um, but yeah, I got to go pick him up. <laughs> Hopefully he looks okay he feels okay like the vet did call me and she like kind of pretty much said he did good like he was okay he wasn't bleeding when he had got to the vet the vet's office so i think he's fine just they just wanted to take precautionary measures or whatever just to make sure that you know it wasn't anything serious but yeah so i gotta pick him up in a little bit see how my little baby is doing I feel so bad for him <laughs> my little buddy like i hope hope his hair looks somewhat decent like hopefully it doesn't look terrible because it already looked a mess because i was cutting his hair and i don't know what i'm doing so i'll just be butchering his hair so he probably gonna look a mess now my little baby but yeah we're gonna get him soon make sure he's okay and then go to top golf um 
later on. Well, really, actually, right after I get him, we need to start leaving to go to Top Golf because we have a reservation. So, yeah, that's th the agenda for this Sunday. And then I don't know if we're doing anything after Top Golf. Probably not. Tomorrow is Labor Day, so I don't know. We have Monday off, so that's great. But yeah, you guys, <sighs> my poor baby. But yeah, we'll see how he's doing pretty soon. Okay, y'all, so this is what my little baby is looking like in his little cone. He's been okay. Uh, he had a little bit of trouble trying to, like, walk up the stairs and stuff when I first got him out the car, but he's been okay. This is where his cut is. Can you see? Right there. They said they glued it together, but you can see, like, it spreads apart when he sits like that, so yeah so far he's okay they gave me some like antibiotics for him to take for a couple days so hopefully he'll feel better soon and it heals up nicely and we don't have any issues but yeah that is all i'm gonna end the vlog here it's like seven o'clock and i'm kind of tired so i'm about to just relax um top golf was fun actually top golf was really fun we all enjoyed it but yeah i'm tired i'm about to relax so Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy your Labor Day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Don't forget to rate this video. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. But don't forget to rate it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Say bye, Lolo. I'm so sad. He's such a saddie boy. Oh, I know. It's okay. <laughs> bye, you guys.